on our way to camping. Somewhere back there we got kids buried. N6C1701Q. And Jake. And I'm buried in pillows right now. I thought I taught him how to roll a poke. Don't worry about stuff like that. <laughs> she can, she'll just jump in the boat and hijack it. <laughs> hey, son, I thought I taught you how to roll a boat. Did you forget? I think he did. I think he did, too. <laughs> So the water's not too bad once you get in it. <clears throat> Just Craig maneuvering the rowboat. <laughs> Thought I told you how to row, Dad. <laughs> crap on me that's all I care about well here we are out in the camp and um, 
beautiful out here. Just spent the whole day at the beach. Time to cook some supper. But first, I'm going to do a beer review. <clears throat> so I brought this beer with me. This was sent to me by a fellow YouTuber who calls himself Far Out Adventures. But he was very kind enough to send me this, um, this, um, what do we got here? Bellhaven Scottish Ale. 5.2% alcohol by volume. It's a nice um, amber color. I don't know if you can see that. And it's cold. I've had it in the cooler. And I really want to thank Borrowed Adventures for sending me this just in time for camping. He's a real nice guy. So thank you, sir. And let's go and uh, have a try with this beer. This is a little gadget that I bought. I'm going to be doing a review on this. It's a screw pop um, four in one keychain tool. Um, yeah, you'll see this in the next, in another video. Got a glass here or a, a plastic. There we are. Oh, it smells nice. So it's a Scottish ale. Oh, thirsty too. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, let's put that down there. Mm, it's got a really nice, um, very strong aroma. Um, like a lager almost. It's an ale, but it's, it has that lager kind of aroma. Beautiful head. Um, the color, it's clear again with the camera. You know, we're, we're not in ideal conditions here, but you can, maybe you can kind of see that. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it's got a different taste than it does in aro than the aroma. Smooth. Nice carbonation, nice bite to it. Um, it has, it's more of a bitter, <clears throat> it doesn't have a lot of um, a, a flavor hops, which is good because I'm not a big hop head. Got a little action on the side of the glass there. This is just a plastic glass, so it's not the best glass, but it has a lot of carbonation. Yes, it has a very clean finish. It's a very refreshing beer. So you can see it. <clears throat> Is it on camera? Yeah. My cameraman back there. Yeah. Hey guys. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Yeah. Beautiful beer. He'll be on later on. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're do Crick's Kitchen. Uh, and do a little bit of a campfire cooking thing. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway. Um, thank you, Farwood Adventures. I believe I know his first name. I don't know if he wants his first name said, but um, I do thank you, and I'll send him a personal message as well. Very nice beer, very nice of him to send this to me. Beautiful time to drink it out here camping, and we're just getting ready to make some dinner. My wife went out to get some wood, sent her out to chop down some trees while I sit here and do this. <clears throat> um, figured that was probably the best thing to do. So she should be back in about an hour or two. I'm joking, of course, she just has to go down the road and buy the wood. <laughs> I'll just take you around for a second and show you our campsite. Shooting this with my Flip HD Ultra HD camcorder. There is our, our hammock. There's our cameraman there. It's my son, David. Hey, Bean. Hey. And what do we got? We just got, you know, it's just a sort of a simple thing. There's our fire pit there, some chairs. There's where the car goes. And there's our picnic table full of stuff. There's our, there our um, tent. You saw the time lapse of the setup of that. So we got all that to enjoy. And it's just beautiful out here. It's all trees. It's all shade. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll cut this and uh, we'll see you around the campfire. See you guys. Take care. Thanks for our adventures.
here we are. This, this fire will be burning for the next uh, 10 hours probably, till I go to bed. I broke a sweat light in that fire. Well, now I'm keeping the net with It looks like it's working okay. It Yipper. Time for supper. Welcome to Craig's campfire. Oh, why don't you say, uh... The same as Craig's kitchen, but we're not in my kitchen, so... What we're gonna do today... Got my, my kid here, he's filming. This one's filming, this one's here. Hey, Jake. Hi. Say hi, Jake. Hi, guys. Um, what we're gonna do today, we've got a small fire going on, because we want mostly um, smoldering embers so we can do this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're going to use these things. These are called pie irons. You can make all kinds of things in these. And what we're going to do, my wife bought, brought pie filling, I think, so we can do that too. But what we're going to do is make pizza pockets in these things right on the fire. Okay. Um, we've got some bread. Just regular old bread. And we've got some pizza sauce. You getting this? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Just take that out of the way for a sec. Get some pepperoni. Already sliced up. Of course the pepperoni. Of course the pepperoni. Because it's pepperoni pizza pockets. We got some uh, already grated up pizza cheese, like it's made for pizza, so it'll have the right blend in there. Okay. Margarine and some um, nonstick cooking spray, just for just in case. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do, and we're going to spray the inside of this. Don't thing. force it, you'll break it. Don't force it, you'll break it. Don't force it, you'll break it. <laughs> okay, so spray the inside. A little bit with nonstick spray. Yeah, I think that's good Whoops. fire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter the outside of the bread. The parts of the bread that are going to touch the pie iron, we're going to butter these. It's kind of like grilled cheese. All right. Just sit that on there. We're going to take our pizza sauce and we're going to, whoops. We're going to put pizza sauce on the bread. And I'm making a mess here, but that's all right. Okay. Like that. Spread our pizza sauce out on the bread, evenly all around. I'm dead. I've never done this before, by the way, so you know this is kind of by the seat of my pants. Hopefully, it works out. There's our pizza sauce. Okay, and then we'll grab our cheese. Cameraman, you getting all this? Yep. Good. I mean, this is not, this is just something you can do when you go camping, you know, something different. Last year we did corned beef hash, that was delicious, well, Dad, because easy. Of, Dad, because of your great videos and your delicious food, I think I'll, I, um, I think I'm going to be a great uh, cook for my family. But, you know. That's great to hear, awesome. Good stuff. Jacob watches my Craig's Kitchen videos all the time on the computer, on YouTube. So we'll throw like four pepperonis on there. My wife doesn't want to be on because she was swimming today and her hair is not done and so there you are. <clears throat> okay, and then we're gonna put the other piece of bread on top, just like that. Butter, margarine is already on it. Could put it on now, but whatever. Close it up. It's um, dad, it's sort of like a, sand it's like a sandwich basically. 
just like the sandwich maker we have at home. Well, that's okay though. If the fire isn't staying, that's okay because we don't want a big fire to make this. Now what we're gonna do is throw this on the, probably on the coals of the fire right there and let it rip. Why am I getting laughed at? Because you bent over to pick that up and stuck your butt in Jacob's face. It's my Dr. Pepper. It's not Dr. Pepper, it's um, wine. Shh. Okay. Okay. No, actually, this one's for uh, who wants the first one? Jacob does. He wants to try the first one. He's a guinea pig. <clears throat> what Come else on. could you put in these, Jake? What else do you think you could put in here? Two slices of bread, and what could you put in the center? You know what? I saw somebody put, they had chicken and stuffing. I think pork. How about, uh... Bacon and eggs and do a breakfast sandwich. You could do that. How about bologna and cheese? Oh, yeah. I think that would be really Anything like that. You know, this is camping, so we're keeping it simple, right? Yep. Flip it over one more time, and then we're going to have a look at it. After we're done this, we'll build this fire up and sit around and sing Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Yeah. Good idea. Let's pull this thing off, see what we've got. Open her up. Flip it over. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, it looks like it charred. It's a little charred, but it's the first one. And somebody here has agreed to, I just have to get it out of here now. Or not ruin my pizza pocket. Oh. Okay, so it's a little charred. But it's my pizza pocket. But it's not too bad. You want to scrap this one and make another one, or I'll eat this. I'll eat. I'll eat it. Jake, I've got some on there. Oh, he's he's eager to eat that. Okay. Well, there we are. All right, let's cut into it and see what we have. This one is a little burned, so we learn from our mistakes. But when you cut in. Ooh, look at all that oh, stuff. Oh, look at that. that. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you have to be kidding me. I think, it's, I think it's ready to eat. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself. Oops, she's dropped it on the floor. Oops, she's dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> she dropped it. That one is one my wife made. That one looks actually better than the one I made. Mom gets the award now, so me and Jacob will leave you alone in the tent. So Get... Go for a timeout. Is it is it good? Yeah. Is it better than actual people? Oh, look at the how, how the cheese is. Oh, it's looking really good. You're grounded if you say it's not absolutely positively delicious. <laughs> no, really. How how good is it? Is it? Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Good. It's big and I'm juicy glad. inside and everything. Good. Well, it's the first time we've tried it, so I'm glad it worked out. These are delicious. Time for a beer. 
thanks for watching guys and uh, when you're out camping try these you won't be you won't be disappointed absolutely delicious take care see you soon bye s'mores and then we got a big crunch mm -hmm. mm. We've got this, this, what is it, a squirrel? Chipmunk. Chipmunk, and he's throwing... We've named him Theodore. We've named, we've named him Theodore, he's throwing, like, uh, what's he throwing down at us? Pine cones. Pine cones. They're landing all over the place here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, hear that? It hit the, tr it hit the tent. He's aiming at me now. He's up there firing these, these things down at us. These, this little chipmunk. Look, look, around. look how many pine cones. Look at them all. All these green pine cones just all over the ground. There's another one. He's been whipping these down at us. They hit the picnic table, they hit the tent, they hit the, the cooler, the ground. Look, the boy just landed right there in front of me. I felt like, look, there it is. <laughs> it just threw this down at us. It landed right in front of my foot. These are, these are hard. Like, look, did that hit you in the head? It hurt. <laughs> Darn thing. Jeez. If one hits me in the there, look, Whoa, look, 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 one just hit there. the tent. <laughs> My dad, don't worry. If one, goes if one hits your head, it's going to hurt. Huh? Did you get that I, one? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> this is, he's throwing them down at us. <laughs> I see him moving. Little animal up in the tree. He's tiny too. He's only about that big. Throwing crap down at us here. Oh, oh here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, right oh that one. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was right <laughs> under attack. Yeah, it hit the, was right it hit the table. Your... Oh, wait, he's too long. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> that was oh, loud. <laughs> that would have hurt.